pleasure to have both the NWA World Heavyweight Champion Ric Flair and the NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion Les Thornton on the same program. With me now is Les Thornton. Yes, God, I'm allowed to say this. It's nice to be back in this area, but also I'd like to stress a point that I'll be going on a world tour in a very short, in a very short uh, moment of time. And uh, possibly I'll be a lot of wrestling around here. Right now you've got this Rogers, who's a great little wrestler. He just saw him a minute ago. And uh, Steve Owens coming back from his, uh, his injury. But I'll be quite frank with you. I like to say this now. All the time I've been going around the world and around the country. At the 225 pound, I can't see anybody, anybody at all, who's got a chance of beating me. Right now I'm the best in the world. And that's what my big aim is life, to stop right there. The best in the world. Well, of course, uh, that can change at uh, the fickle count of three, and it could be all over for either Les Norton, the world junior heavyweight champion. I know for a fact he has some matches upcoming, including men that have been able to put his shoulders to the mat for the count of three. Uh, but nonetheless, at the moment, he is indeed the world junior heavyweight champion. Let's turn to the ring. It's Thornton now moving out against uh, Don Gilbert. One fall, 10-minute time limit. Anytime the champion, be it Ric Flair, be it Tommy Wildfire, Rich Lester, beautiful Cornish hype by uh, Thornton into a snap mare. And this is the thing about Thornton. He's known as a man with a 1,001 holds. I would say, Steve, perhaps the most versatile wrestler uh, in uh, the profession today. Well, that's true, and it's, it's, it's too bad that you have to put a classification on the man being the world's junior heavyweight champion under 225, but, uh, you know, the man has is so good. He can take on any size opponent and with, be, with some great deal of success. I know that he has a rigorous schedule also. He goes to uh, the Costa Rica, the island of Puerto Rico, uh, Japan. He's been in the Midwest. He's been in Florida. Another grueling schedule. Certainly no question about it. We saw there a series of fine moves going all the way from a deep double underhook into a salto. Uh, now back into a, uh, well, almost a, almost a crucifix. He's got the legs grapevine. And that's the thing about uh, Thornton. He uses his legs uh, as much as any competitor I've ever seen. And, of course, they are the strongest muscles in the body. Well, that's true. You have more power in your legs than any other part of your body. Also, he is controlling his man quite well with his legs. Right now, you can see him working on the head. And, of course, Gordon, when you control the head, the rest of the body has to follow. If he keeps that head down, there's no way can, that Mr. Gilbert can get his rest of his body up off the mat. Right now, Gilbert needs a definite change in strategy. He has to do something to gain control. I think, too, uh, that the NWA is infinitely wise in having the World Junior Heavyweight Championship because we do have, uh, in today's rank, so many great, great competitors who fall underneath the 230 mark. Uh, they'll go at 220, 221, 222. And uh, certainly with the World Heavyweight Championship being unlimited, that means that uh, a man can go 300 or better if he wishes. Uh, it does give the, the smaller, very agile man uh, an opportunity for that world championship and a share of uh, that kind of income, which, of course, is obviously what any man turns professional well, that's for. that's true, Gordon. That's very well put. You're going to give everybody a chance. It might be a smaller opponent, but I tell you, they don't lack in the desire to compete. And right now, we see the very best of people with the desire to compete. You know, on national television, it obviously takes a lot to get out there and try to do your best. And right now, these men are doing that just indeed their best. The voice you're hearing, of course, is that of Steve O, who is with me right now, former uh, national heavyweight champion, former national TV champion, sidelined with injuries, and who will be on hand uh, along with members of the Atlanta Falcons, uh, uh, the Atlanta Braves, the Hawks, and a host of others for the big leukemia drive. Uh, all of the money to go to the Emory University for uh, leukemia research. And we certainly hope that everybody will avail themselves of the chance of uh, meeting Steve O in person when that takes place uh, at the Omni. And it is uh, now Les Thornton continuing to punish uh, Don Gilbert. Gilbert having his uh, hands full here, but uh, even though right now he's getting a... Uh, a pretty hard time of it from the champion. He is also getting a tremendous lesson and uh, an education in the pro ranks, and that, of course, is one of the reasons that these men will step in against the champion. Well, that's true. You have to wrestle everybody, and the champion is included. And when you get a chance to wrestle the champion, you have to come up with a very superb effort. And right now, Mr. Gilbert has not been equal to that task, although you have to give him credit for getting in the ring. Scrappy McGowan checking those shoulders again. Scrappy's an outstanding official and watches those shoulders very, very carefully. And Thornton did not get those shoulders down for the required three count. And uh, Thornton, 
Uh, it's interestingly enough to watch with Thornton, too. Now, he'll use that forearm like a battering ram across the chest and uh, uh, the upper abdominal area, uh, catching his man perhaps right across the diaphragm, but he is... Uh, uh, I think Thornton, too, takes this as an educational process when he steps well, in the ring. That's true. He's going to make an example or attempt to make an example, this man, to everybody that is in the ring, that is watching. He takes a head, of course, and when you control the head, you control the man's body. Before we saw him with the forearm across the solar plexus, across the diaphragm, hindering his breathing, wearing his opponent down slowly, methodically. And, of course, he's been very successful with this in the past. And he came from a beautiful wrist drag that time into a drop-to-hold takedown, and now a lateral press on his man. Reverse Nelson, and again, Gilbert. A deep, deep double underhook. Back into that uh, souffle, and uh, Gilbert obviously is really, really beginning to lag now. Is uh, has him up with that backbreaker. He uses it uh, very effectively. A count of three, a count of three, and it is all over for Gilbert. Gilbert acquitted himself extremely well, but was no match in this case against the uh, NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion Les Thornton. And here's exactly...